if you have been building AI agents, then one of the most fundamental challenges we face these days is how do you evaluate them? Well, when we had traditional ML systems, we have very well-defined benchmarks. We have well-defined matrices that can be used, be it a classification or a regression problem. With deep learning, with different kind of models, we have different sort of techniques to evaluate. With LLMs, this problem was difficult, but we still managed to cook up some benchmarks and leaderboards, and now we ended up with a lot of numbers, some augmented by LLM itself, like GEVAL and others, more traditional matrices like rogue scores, things like that. They were embedded and incorporated. With agents, the problem is bigger. Why is that so? Because agents have multiple parts. So you ask an agent a question and what's going to happen is it's going to think and it's going to cook up a plan. It's going to use the tools or use multiple agents under the hood. It's going to be very, very difficult because when you have one single agent has some tools, great. But then when you have task specific agents and a lot of different design paradigms, by the way, I've talked about a lot of them. Uh, in my previous videos, uh, do check out my channel. I keep talking about this space. What will happen is that it becomes difficult to evaluate that. And that's what this video is about. What are the scenarios that we have and what tools we have? We'll come back to evaluating a complex agent from Langsmith perspective or Langchain. But I want to throw some ideas under the hood. There are some very interesting companies. Big shout out to Galileo Dirt AI. And they are really nailing this problem very right, rightfully. So if you see this image, this blog article, what they have talked about is they have Galileo agentic evaluation. And if I just uh, kind of homage, okay, just think, see, see the image in isolation. Like, so there are three different stages and the arrow is basically telling where the correct set of tools selected, where the correct set of arguments pass to the tools. Did the tool encounter any agent and did the final action meet goals? This is a very hard problem to test. Why? Because a lot of it is non-deterministic and I'm sure Galileo helps enable some of that. But uh, what they their point of view has been, you have agent specific matrices, you have visibility into LLM planning and tool use and again, uh, more of cost latency. And this is the part which I was trying to talk about. The tools part, which is what usually is the deterministic path that is kind of very, very, uh, you know, it's easy to test. You have APIs, you have database communication, but this is very hard. How do you do non-deterministic path tests? How do you check for failure points? Those are things to worry about. There are some solutions emerging. For example, there's an idea of LLM as a judge. This is very popular. It's by Langfuse. Uh, it's Im embedded within Langfuse and a lot of other frameworks use this idea. It's basically saying, I want to use LLM, which is large language model as a judge for, uh, you know, assessing what I'm doing. Then Google has evaluate AI agents, a preview feature. This is a pre GA. They offer two options. First is the final response and second is trajectory. Surprisingly, this literally, uh, is a copy paste of Langchain documentation. I'm gonna show and uh, you know, we'll see how this looks. And uh, basically what you get in trajectory matrices is that you have a predicted trajectory, you have a reference trajectory, you have a score, you have latency in seconds and you have failures. And then you aggregate certain results and again, similarly for final response matrices. So these, this is basically the trajectory evaluator and what Langchain has done is just pushed out a code, which is literally, you know, uh, complete code. You can uh, use any agentic technology and kind of use Langsmith to build observability. But uh, I want to skip certain sections. Like for example, if you see on the top right, this configure the environment, this download the database, define the customer support agent and evaluation. I'm jumping right to evaluation just to try and talk about what this is. So they talk about three different scenarios. First is the final response, which is the evaluate the final response. In order to do this, you can use a paradigm like LLM as a judge. You can have a human in the loop. You can have synthetic simulations running. Um, and a lot of this is very open-ended at this stage. So what you are doing here is just simulating some conversations. Uh, sticking it into a data set 
And then you have an LLM as a judge instruction. And what it's doing is, it says you will be given a question, the ground truth and a response. And essentially the student response as well, right? And here's how you grade, you kind of act as a evaluator. And you use a different LLM, you have a function, etc., etc., and you see some results around it. The second is trajectory evaluator. What does trajectory evaluator mean? Trajectory evaluation is, hey, I had A, B, C, D, E tools. I'm going to see what trajectory my agent is taking and what it is supposed to take. So this is like a graph problem. So think about it that I have to start from node A, it should go to B, then C, then D, like if it's sequential. But what can agent do? The paths can be different. So that's what you measure. And uh, you essentially return the graph and uh, you can look at the links as well. Uh, it looks, yeah, something like this. So this is the output, like you have, you see that this is the input who recorded which, there's a reference output, there's a trajectory, there's trajectory subsequence, like it met, did not met, sometimes it did not work, it worked. For this, you had to enter into the reference trajectory was this, it entered more. All of this can, uh, you can see uh, in Langsmith. Again, different libraries uh, will give you uh, different sort of interpretations, but uh, the concept is same. Single step evaluator is more like a debug mode. So all you do is you simulate some scenarios, you go into a data set, and then you say that, hey, this, given this route, given this tool, is this acting correctly or not? That's pretty much it. Now, uh, this is a very, very complicated topic, so I'm gonna keep talking about it. Uh, in the subsequent videos, I wanna bring more details into uh, how do you cook up scenarios like this, introduce a library which can help you generate synthetic scenarios. Because one of the fundamental challenges becomes that, hey, how do you generate this? Again, you can go to an LLM and ask it to do, but there are better ways of doing that. So I'll keep the story alive from an agentic observability perspective, uh, how this impacts your architecture, how does this impact your agentic evaluation, your system. Drop that in the comments. If you have liked this conversation, give me a thumbs up. Thank you. Bye-bye.